going to talk about attaching the leather handles with two metal brads on each and we need to pre punch the leather and through the fabric too. So I'm going to show you how to do that. We have two leather handles here and they're each 28 inches long by three quarters of an inch. We have to punch the holes in these separately than we do in the tote bag. I also brought out the strap cutter. This is for if you buy a whole hide of leather and you want to be able to strap it into a bunch of straps, then that's what you would use. But I'm also gonna sell kits of these leather handles with the metal brads on my website and you can buy the kit and that way you don't have to invest in a whole leather hide. Um, a few of the other tools that we're using, and we have a mini anvil, a jeweler's anvil. We'll also use a razor blade to clean up the leather if we need to. Um, the rotary cutter in order to cut the straps to length. Um, I'm not going to be demoing cutting the straps to length, but I will be showing you how to punch the holes and attach the straps. And then I have the um, L square, the owl, and the metal brads. First step to adding our leather straps is to measure up the spots where the metal brads will be on the straps and punch holes for that. So that is three eighths of an inch up centered and an inch and three eighths centered for the second one. So we're gonna measure up three eighths of an inch and make a mark. And then we're gonna measure up one and three eighths. So that's right here. And then we're gonna make a center mark for those two. So we're gonna punch a hole right in the center of these X's. So if you don't have one of these, then I'll show you how to just punch a hole with a metal punch. This is an eighth inch hole punch. You can buy at the hardware store. And then I'm gonna come over to my tree stump here that's a really great place to hammer in hardware at. And you wanna make sure that you're doing this on wood. Now we're gonna mark the placement for the straps on the bag, and they are seven inches apart. So we're gonna put our ruler at the halfway point at three and a half inches, because half of seven is three and a half inches. And then we're gonna mark zero, and seven, just two little marks there. And we're gonna mark three quarters of an inch on either side of that mark. And then we know that our straps go between those marks. And I'm gonna go ahead and take my strap and just lay it over in between the marks that I made. And then I stick my pencil through, make sure it has a good point, and make marks on my canvas through my leather strap so that you see the two marks just like that. So now I have the holes ready to go to punch those. So now I'm gonna take my leather punch and it's still on a number six and I'm gonna punch through each of these four holes. You might need to fold this down a little bit to reach in to get to that. You want to squeeze it until you hear a little click and you know that you've punched through all layers. So now we have four holes punched. Now make sure that this is the right side um, and then you're actually doing the right side on the side and not the wrong side and that it's not actually doing something like this where you have a twist in your strap. You don't want that either. So just make sure that you lay one side down and you follow it around with your hand and then you lay the other side down. Okay, so these are quick set brads. So what we'll do is we'll take a long and a short We'll finger set them, we'll just push them for now, and then we'll go over to the anvil and we'll actually hammer them in. So I took the long sides and I put them in through the leather and then I'm gonna push them in to the canvas. And then I'm just gonna set the other side in there. So it'll hold enough to get you to your anvil. So we're just gonna do one of these at a time. And 
So we're gonna use an anvil so that when I hammer it, it really gets nice and flat um, on the rivets here. And I wanna make sure I move the rest of the bag out of the way and lay down the metal brads directly on the anvil here. And then I'm gonna make sure that my strap isn't twisted in any particular way, but that it's actually coming up straight, perpendicular to the top edge of my tote bag. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hammer my brads. And you can really see the brad bite into the leather. And then I'm actually gonna turn it over and I'm gonna hammer it on this side too. So now we've set the brads into one part of our strap and we're gonna go and put the other side in too. 